Okay, I'm gonna go for a walk at the uh, at the RV park here. Oh wow! Oh, check that out. Somebody threw away a perfectly good fridge. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, check this out. Okay, we got a good fridge. Uh, look at that. Nice fridge. It's a nice mini fridge. It smells. And I got some free floor mats for my car. <laughs> so here at the at the dump uh, at the RV park. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I just found this in the trash as well. Uh, this could actually be a really nice engraver holder. <laughs> Plastic with all these little holes. You can put your engravers in here. I'm actually not going to take this. But uh, you can find a lot of really cool stuff uh, in the trash. Uh, so, am I a dumpster diver? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I've actually found a lot of stuff for free uh, in dumpsters. Oh, fridge. I got a great idea uh, for some jewelry making tools. Today, I'm going to show you how to take this mini fridge or a used air conditioner uh, or even a water cooler, anything that has a air compressor in it, uh, a compressor. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a silent air compressor for your shop for free. And um, we're going to take the motor out of here and we're going to put it on an air compressor. Uh, there's, I think it's a company called uh, Juno that makes these air compressors for the jewelry industry. They're very nice. They're very handy. You can put them right next to your uh, jeweler's bench and you'll, you can run your engravers off it and uh, your wax injectors as well. I run them. Um, and they're actually quiet. Uh, they sell in the catalog for $19.95 and that's not $19.95, that's $1,995. $2,000. I'm going to show you how to make a silent air compressor for free today. Uh, I actually have one already made that I've used and I've had it for eight years. So they're very uh, usable. So stay cool and you stay calm because uh, I'm going to pick this up and take it home. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, here it is. We got it home back to our RV spot. All I want to do now at first is I want to make sure this motor runs before we take all this time and make our uh, silent air compressor. Uh, let's see. Let's just plug it in. It's good. Okay, I got air coming out. Compressor still works. It's good. Looks like somebody else has already got here first. They've already taken off the brackets and cut my lines for me. <laughs> so, But the motor does work. So this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, make sure it's unplugged. I'm just going to, all I want from this is I just want the compressor. Some of them may have a, a capacitor, in which case you're going to want that as well. So I just want to cut as much of the tubing off as I can and for what I need. Uh, somebody's already cut the uh, lines on this one and, and bent them over. <laughs> and they took my, my mounting bolts, <laughs> so, I, so I'm going to have to uh, figure out another way to mount it. So just cut all the line that you, uh, you think you're going to need. Bring over some tools here. All I need, this one has no capacitor, uh, it's just the motor, so that's nice and simple. I'm just going to cut as much, as much of the power line. That's easy, huh? Okay, nothing. Okay, I got uh, as much of the electrical as I need, and that's, that's all I need right there. That's it, I need the motor, the wiring. Uh, I'm gonna, and then I definitely want this base because uh, you know that way I can remount this really easily to any compressor. So I just want this base off of here, and so I don't have to try to manufacture a new one because it's right here. All I need it. I can take these two screws off, but really I just need this this rectangular where the where the bolts go. I really just need right here. Let's do that. I got this. <laughs> One saws all. And then we'll be done with this fridge and then we can just take it back. Because we don't need it no more. All I want is the motor. <laughs> okay. Blade's all bent. We'll see if it works. we got our plate and the rest we're just going to take back let's take this inside because it's hot out here i'm going to take this inside and we're going to get started on our project <laughs> okay. all right here we go 
one refrigerator, mini fridge, air compressor ready to go. And I went to my brother's house and he had a old broken down Walmart <laughs> air compressor. Perfectly good tank, bad motor. It actually says quiet air. <laughs> now we, yeah, like quiet, like annoying quiet, uh, like set off the San Andreas Falls quiet. We know how loud these things really are. I'm in an RV park, so, you know, quiet is everything. And sometimes I'm like at Yosemite or, or in a national park making jewelry. So quiet, I want a quiet air compressor. Okay, so let's get started. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing apart. It's got a really nice, it's got all the gauges. Everything is there. I got this for free, but it was broken. Okay, I've taken all the screws off. So this just comes right off. Uh, the motor, just take a, it has the uh, the uh, copper pipe and the air pressure regulator. Take those lines off and undo the copper pipe. Okay, and down here. And, okay, copper pipe off. It actually has a hole in it. <laughs> Uh, so it must have uh, shorted out the electrical. So this isn't any good anyways. And this will just come off with the fan and the power cord comes off just like that. And now, okay, we got a good base. Now we just have to figure out how we're going to do this. I have to deal with the, uh, the inlet and the pressure regulator in my way. And whatever compressor you're working with, you just have to find a place. It'd be nice to go this direction, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. So I'm going to go right there, right? Just like that. And uh, so I am gonna have to use my base that I cut out of the mini fridge and I've straightened it out and I've grinded it and I've made it nice and square and I rounded over these edges just in case I had to use this. And I am because I've got nowhere to bolt to. If I would've went this way, I could've, could've had it. <laughs> so, okay. So let's get, we're gonna need our base on there for our compressor. So I've already pre-drilled some holes which co-aligned where the mounting brackets were for the cap, right here. So I'm just gonna use those same holes. And I got some washers because it's got a lip on it, right there. Yeah, definitely saving that base plate was a, is the way to go. Okay, and I got some, put down your rubber uh, washers, and the air compressor can go on now, just like that. Right in there, put your rubber washers on there. That way it just doesn't rattle. It some, keeps it quiet. Okay, there we go. And thank goodness I saved that base, because that's really gonna save me here. Okay. And we're going to mount that. Okay. That's bolted on there. Okay. Now, uh, this is the inlet. It's just going to suck air. It would be a good idea to put some kind of an air filter on here, like a sponge or a Scotch-Brite pad. I'm not going to do that right this second. I am, because this is an oil filled, uh, it's got oil in it, and I don't want the oil to come out. This is the biggest thing you're going to want to do, is to put an air dryer on there, so the oil doesn't just all, all leak out. Uh, so we're going to, I'm just going to use this pipe that is already here and I'm going to use a compression fitting on there. So put the compression fitting on there, right like that, and put, and I've already made this, uh, this new line because this one had a hole in it. I could have used it. It's, it's almost the same shape, actually. Look at that. I could have used it, but I had a hole. So we're going to just use our new one. And get our air dryer on there. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Easy, right? I mean, okay. Look at that, tight, good. Okay, now that's all on there. We've got our, our water, air filter. I want to put this filter in before I get to the tank. Otherwise, all of the oil from here may get pushed into my tank on these. So I, I actually uh, put it before I get to my tank. Now all we need to do is hook up the electrical and we already know it works. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, let's see, put that on there. Boom. Like that. This is a quick that in there yeah just like that and I want to put my ground and my power just goes to my pressure switch automatically turn it off and oops okay like that and power from the power cord goes here Okay. And I do want to put this ground on there, so definitely do that. Okay, and then I got my ground on there. Okay, ground, and I attached all my cords. Nice and clean, just like that. And we can wire tie all this later, but I do have it in there and it's snug. And uh, power, yeah, release, plug it in and let's see what it sounds like. That's all it took. These things cost $2,000 in the jewelry catalog. Let's plug it in. Let's see how loud it is. Pretty quiet, right? And it's cooking. I can feel it. And there it is, one silent air compressor for your jewelry shop, or if you're an RVing group, uh, definitely for the RVers, because uh, you know, you're gonna fill up your air tubes or something when you go in camping, and a nice silent air compressor like this is a big plus. You know, you're not gonna blow everybody out. <laughs> so there it is, one silent air compressor. Sweet. Ultra quiet air compressor. Here's the air compressor that I've been using for eight years. It has a, a little bit bigger motor, a capacitor. I have my filter on it and I didn't even use copper hose. I just used a regular uh, flex regular air compressor hose on this one. I was really fast on it, and I built this one even faster. I, I like the new one that I just built, so I think I'm gonna switch to it, because it's a way more compact, but you can use any of these small ones are great. I hope this video helps you uh, build a, a silent air compressor for yourself. If you have a comment, leave it, and thanks for watching.